when, uh, when I was in middle school, I'd uh, go to 7-Eleven and get a bag of Doritos and be a really fat boy and I'd, I'd go to the free chili and, and nacho cheese at 7-Eleven. I'd, I'd use that, but uh, the, guy, the guy at 7-Eleven would always eyeball me while I was taking the chili and cheese. But it was it's all right on the on the on the thing. It says it's free though. <laughs> We're making the world's largest walking taco. Wow! I'm cooking up some ground beef uh, and season it. it. Smells pretty good right now, but I think we're gonna. I think I'm cooking up five pounds. I think the walking taco probably will only hold about three pounds because we're gonna max out this bag and then put as much in there as we can. It's gonna be like almost two pounds of chips. I'm looking at probably three pounds of ground beef, two pounds of cheese, a bunch of salsa, avocados. I'm gonna top it with sour cream, four packs of the Taco Bell seasoning. Oh my God, this smells delicious already. <laughs> my mouth is watering just cooking this. Is it easier to eat if it's lean? A little bit harder. I, I like meat. Meat's always a little bit better when it's fatty. More flavor, more juice. It's, look, it's looking good. Maybe, maybe a little butter. Maybe yeah. butter. It's a giant bag of chips. Reinforce the sides. So should I just cut off like an inch, you think? Usually I'm eating tacos in a contest, but this year, with all the COVID, uh, there's no contest. We have almost two pounds of chips, two pounds of cheese, three pounds of ground beef seasoned. It smells amazing. We have onions, avocado, I think a pound and a half of salsa, a bunch of sour cream, and I'm topping it off with my creamy green hash and jalapeno sauce. Three pounds of meat. That's a lot of cheese. <laughs> There's no <laughs> This thing is getting heavy. <laughs> this bag is getting <laughs> And now avocado. All these ingredients are delicious. Perfect amount of spice. I think it's heavy. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. That's more than I thought. Wow. This is amazing. Joy Chestnut here, getting ready to eat a giant walking taco on National Taco Day. And I'm uh I'm excited. I'm gonna start eating. Three, two, one. Oh, I got all the chips.
sweating. Ugh. These chips are hard to eat fast. Longer than I thought, guys. You got this. Oh, baby. You got this. So much. So. <laughs> Still a good amount left. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna finish. Yeah. There's no doubt. It's just, it's just getting harder. It's getting drier and drier. It's just, it's hard. It's hard to eat because uh, when I when I get when I bend over, right. you don't uh, it's you hard almost, to swallow. You can almost lift it down. You almost I know. Lift it up. Yeah. Oh baby, I'm getting there, guys. It's taking me a little bit longer than I thought, but it's tasty still. Finally, a walking taco. <laughs> It's probably big enough to manage it in one hand. <laughs> yeah, we got this. I'm sorry. Woo! Hey, yeah. Biggest walking taco in the history. <laughs> Man. Oh, baby. Woo! Yeah, Bam! That's awesome. That was tasty. A little bit worried. They start getting dry and yeah. mixing it in. Yeah. Also, when I was leaning over, it's hard, hard, hard to swallow. You know, I, got, I ended up sitting down, and uh, it made it a little bit easier. But it was a good challenge. That was a epic walking taco. Hope everybody has a great National National Taco Day. I'm gonna take a nap. Maybe have a beer, a belly rub. But that was a lot of food. If you guys liked the video like it feel free to leave comments below and if you want to check out my sauces go to my website or uh, or, or check it out on amazon best comment below and i'll send you a signed signed shirt and uh autographed uh, bottles of my sauces i'm looking forward to hearing about your guys stories with the walking taco and i'm uh i'm happy uh i'm happy i was able to eat it <laughs> i was a little bit worried a little bit take care everybody